Hello Virgo and welcome to your January 2020 monthly reading. This is for Virgo. Virgo, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at SecretTarot1111 and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Virgo, this is for you. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo for January 2020. What is going on with Virgo for January 2020? Okay. Wow. Okay. So it's almost like you are emerging from this butterfly, right? You, you're, you're coming out of your cocoon. You're coming out of your shell here. You've been very quiet lately. You're seeing things very clearly and you're emerging like a butterfly here. So that's very good. You're undergoing um, a huge transformation, Virgo. Um, and it's like, uh, there's somebody you, ha there is somebody that I feel um, you see potential with. Um, but right now, it's like you are on, uh, well, you're going in hermit mode, Virgo, that is your card. But you're, you're emerging. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, you're coming out of your cocoon, right? You're a butterfly, Virgo. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We've got the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, whatever you're taking a break from, let's say whoever, um, it's, it's this person caused a whole lot of drama. There was jealousy here. There was fighting. There could have been competition here. There could have been um, just, it was, it was very chaotic. Let's say that, right? Five of wands, it's fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is what you're taking a break from. Virgo needs a timeout. Virgo needs a minute. Okay. Um, so, all right. Um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, Virgo, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. And some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So we got a little bit of drama that you are taking a break from, right? Now, I feel like there's some sort of um, unexpected potential... Um, individual that you may want to um, explore, let's say. Um, but it's, you know, meanwhile, meanwhile, you're busy with your transformation. All right, so that's good. Um, night of, and hey, right? New decade, new year, Virgo going through a transformation. I just feel like some a, a new potential, a new suitor, a new lady, a new gentleman, whatever, um, is coming in and um, you're not going to expect it. It's going to be a nice surprise, but you're going to see the potential here. All right, so that's good. Knight of Swords, this is um, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so 
Yeah, you have been dealing with a lot. This is the energy that you've been taking a break from right here. Taking a break from this, taking a break from this. Now, you may have found out some sort of unexpected information in regards to this toxic individual you're taking a break from. And whatever that um, uh, information you found out, Virgo, um... It, it, it helped you to see things for what they are, and it helped you to uh, see, you know, you couldn't trust this person, and it helped you to see what you needed to do, right? Um, and this isn't where you wanted to be. Um, this person was false. This person was fake. This person was a liar, Um they brought a, they they brought a lot of toxic situations to you. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. Um, this left you single for a while, right? So you're going to um, land on your feet here. You're just taking a break. You're you're taking yourself out of the love game for a hot minute, but. It's like, you know, while you're going through your own personal transformation after all this drama that you've had to deal with, you're going to be emerging like uh, even more beautiful and stronger and handsome, whatever, right? You know what I'm getting at. We got the single lady card at the bottom of the deck, male or female, you're standing tall here, okay? And Virgo, I just don't think you mind being single. You certainly would rather be single than deal with this mess right here. Okay. You're taking yourself out of the equation. And you look good doing it. Okay. So you are emerging beautifully. Um, you're independent. You can take care of yourself. And um, that's fine. That's beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. That's Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um so the person that you deal have have been dealing with, this person may continuously try to come back into the picture. I do believe that they watch you. I do believe that they spy on you because I got that card here. And that card is always there for you, Virgo. Somebody's always got eyes on you. Um, but um, this is uh, you right here taking a break. From this person that continuously tries to come back. The reason they try to come back is because they feel those strong soul ties to you. Now, yes, this may be a soul mate. But um, we have many soul mates. We have different soul mates. Um, some are here for a lifetime. Some are here for just a hot minute. Some are in and out. Um, but this one is here definitely to teach lessons. Teach you lessons. You're here to teach them lessons. And I feel like um, they, they want to come back, but you're not speaking to them. It's a no. Whatever this is you found out, it was pretty harsh and it caused a whole lot of drama. And you see things for what they are now. All right. And I do feel like they're going to keep coming back. But I feel like um, you got your eye on somebody else here. Okay. There's a... There's a new new um, sheriff in town, so to speak. Um, so you're taking a break. You've gone quiet on this individual. And they want to come back. You, at the root of the reading, see things very, very clearly here, Virgo, with this Ace of Swords. This is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So there's going to be, you're going to be victorious over this. And this person wants to talk to you. This past person wants to talk to you. But you see them for what they are. And you have nothing for them. They ruined everything. They ruined everything. So they they broke your heart. They, um, uh, you know, just proven themselves to be something that they, they're not. You know, they showed you... It's, they had like two different, I'm going to say, personalities here. They showed you one face, and but in reality, behind that mask, right, it was a whole different situation going on. There's a whole different person behind that mask. But it was a nice looking mask, right? Um, Ace of Swords. Um, so, you know, you're having your epiphany moments. Oh, you know, you see things clearly. This is clarity right here. 
and you're on to new beginnings. Um, you're looking for new. This past person spies on you. They watch you. Um, and, and I strongly believe most of you know that because I read a lot of the comments. <laughs> um, but this card always comes out for you guys, right? They watch you. They see what you're doing. Um, and I feel like if there is any kind of communication, it's very immature. Let's put it that way. Um, near future, you know what you're dealing with here. You know what you're dealing with here. Okay, so this is, of course, a liar, a cheater, stealer. This is the thief card. This is what's bringing toxicity and drama, right? There could be more information coming to you in regards to this person. You're looking for a true partnership here. You're looking for somebody to respect you. Bottom line, right? What is love without respect? Um, that's what you're looking for, Virgo. This person did not do that. This person did whatever they wanted and they still feel like they can continue to come back and that's simply not the case, I don't think. You've got other things on your mind. But you see what this person is. Seven of Swords, Air Energy, Thief card, right? Liar, cheater, stealer, sneaking around, all that. It's no good. So what you are looking for is somebody you can have a Ten of Cups kind of commitment with. This past person, they ruined everything. They ruined everything. So you got your eye on the prize in 2020 and you're not settling. Virgo is not settling in 2020. Mm-mm. No, no more second chances, no more third chances, no more fourth chances. I'm not going to settle for somebody that already ruined um, a relationship with me that's not happening. And I'm certainly not going to continue to give this person chances. I got my eye on the prize here. I want something real. I want a true partnership here. That is the goal. And you see very clearly that this past person cannot give that to you. So Ten of Cups. Happy partnership, happy family, happy life. One of the happiest cards in the tarot deck. Loving long-term commitment. That is your prize. All right, so Virgo, this is you in the equation, Queen of Wands. This is you picking yourself up, dusting yourself off. You got a lot of, um, I feel like this person, manipulative, try to... Um, bring you down, say things that would get in your head, mess with your confidence, mess with your self-esteem, and you're working that out. Um, you know you deserve better. You're stepping into your power. That is the essence of the Queen of Wands. Virgo stepping into um, their power here. What's coming towards you is a lot of changes. And this is why I say you're going through your own personal transformation. It's like you're waking up, you're seeing things very clearly, and you are have a better understanding of what you want now. Um, and it is not a bunch of craziness, right? It's not. Um, you got your eye on the prize. So this is a huge deal for you. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. Um, but death to old ways and new beginnings. And that's what you're looking for. New, new, new. In your hopes and fears, you want somebody that's going to kind of look up to you, respect you. That's the most important thing here that I'm picking up here with this card. Respect. Um past person didn't do that three of pentacles this is earth um taurus virgo capricorn now you could be meeting somebody at work or at college or something it's for some of you not for all of you um teaching right teaching that's what i want to say but um this is um I want to say you want to be seen for what you can put into a situation. All the little things that you can do for somebody, that's the way that you show that you care about them and um, you you want them to appreciate you, not appreciate and, and respect you, right? That's what's going on here. There is a potential new beginning here for you, Virgo. Something unexpected is going to come in, and you're going to see the potential with this person, and it's going to be good. We have the Empress here. It's all about growth, um, and this is also your growth as well. 
and your transformation. You have really grown from this and talk about emerging as the beautiful butterfly here, coming out as the empress, that's amazing. Um, abundance, um, uh, nurturing, caring, right? You didn't let this bring you down. You didn't let this energy bring you down. You just had to withdraw yourself from this energy and you kept it moving. You took your seat back on your throne here and you're stepping most definitely into your power. So you, it, it it's beautiful. Virgo, it's beautiful. Okay. You got very strong um, cards here, right? Um, strong feminine energy. So let us clarify that Empress card for Virgo. Let us clarify that Empress card for Virgo. Yeah, this past person, it's been a stressful situation. It's been stressful. Right? The past person's still all up in their head about you, right? Having sleepless nights about you. But you, they don't like the fact that you are um, going through your own transformation, that you're waking up. And they certainly don't like the fact that you may have a new potential um, situation on the line. Um, the whole situation has stressed you out. It's brought down your energy. This is known as the nightmare card. But you're getting through it, right? You've got your eye on the prize here, Virgo. We got the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. This is higher levels of commitment. You know you deserve more. Higher level, right? Higher calling type situation here. You're not settling. Virgo will not settle in 2020. No. Nope. All right, let's pull some Romance Angel cards here for Virgo for January 2020. What is going on with Virgo for January 2020? What is going on with Virgo for January 2020? What is going on with Virgo? Oh my God. Releasing your ex. The time has come to clear your energy and your ex doesn't like that, but that is exactly what you're doing. There is a new situation. It's what that's all reading. There is a new situation brewing here and I feel like you're going to be ready to receive it. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. There's some sort of unexpected situation cropping up. Unexpected communication, right? Somebody's going to be reaching out. Maybe you, maybe it's you. Maybe you're going to be reaching out to somebody. Um, but there is potential for a new beginning here, right? Um, but I just feel like it's going to be an unexpected situation, an unexpected connection. And it's Virgo. It's good. All right, so that is what's going on with your January 2020 reading, and I like it. I like it, beautiful butterfly. I love it. All right, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I um, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I have been let out of Twitter jail. So yes, feel free to follow me there now. Um, past few days, I have been, uh, my account got suspended uh, for I don't know why. They sent me a letter and I still don't understand what in the world they're trying to tell me. But I'm back. I'm back in full force on the Twitter. So feel free to follow me there. Um what else? I do have a weekly schedule, so you know when uh, the weekly reading will be released. And uh, there's a live schedule as well. I go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. Also, next week I'll be working on the January 2020 How Do They Feel About You readings. Those are my favorite readings, so I look forward to next week, and I hope you do too. You guys take very good care of yourself, and God bless.